Good evening, Oscar. Good evening, teacher. Okay, good to see you. Okay, I will activate my camera in, in, in a second, okay? Hey, good to see you. I can see Norma over here. Okay, you know, we're, wait, we're, we're gonna wait a little bit. We're missing like uh, five minutes to eight. It's five to eight, you know, about the time, right? It's five to eight and we're gonna wait for the rest, okay? Okay, Oscar, okay, Norma? Bye. Hey, teacher. All right, so let us wait a little bit. Yo he ruido.
Good evening, everybody. Good evening. Hello, uh, Maria, Maricela, Mayra, I have uh, Norma. Hello, Gladys. So do me the favor to activate your camera, please. It's quite important. And we finally got into our last uh, week. This is week number four. And I hope that we're going to get a great time together. We're going to have a great time together. Okay. Um, I don't know. Let me see if there are some people who are just getting into the class. Uh, okay. Welcome, Vidal. Ronan, welcome. Um, present teacher, present. Yeah, I can see that over here. Thank you for coming on time, Ronan. And also Vera Liz, and I, I can see Maricela, uh, Oscar. Okay, and let me see. Let us wait a little bit. I have uh, 10 people connected. Okay, and uh, I think uh, we're going to wait a little bit, a couple of minutes more so that we can start. And in that sense, we can see more people gathering with in our in our English session. Uh, how are you today, people? Hope you are okay. Hope you are having fun. That you are having a great time at home. And I hope that you have had a great time at work. Okay, that's what I um, I expect about listening about you. Okay, I will check the list attendance. Okay, this is the first time I check the list attendance. Then we're gonna go over the platform as we usually do it. Then we are gonna have some review about what we started the last week. And we're going to start a, a new topic tonight, okay? So we're gonna start a new topic. And after that, well, you're gonna have the time to teach us about <clears throat> the tongue twister you investigated, right? How was, how was the activity? Did you learn the new, a new, a new, I mean, new vocabulary through the tongue twister? Hello, hello, hello. Did you, did you, did you investigate the tongue twister? <clears throat> Are you going to teach us a tongue twister tonight? I hope so, right? So that's, that was your humble for, for tonight. Okay, now we'll check the list of tenders. Hey, I can see Claudia. Welcome, Claudia. I can see Claudia got into the class. Okay, and she says hello to everybody. All right. Now, do me the favor to say present. Okay. When do you listen to your name? Okay, Adan is over here. Alison is over here. Andrea Raquel. Camelia, eh, Dina Maribel, Gerardo Emanuel, Gilberto, eh, Gladys, Hector Salvador, Henry, teacher, okay, have Claudia, okay, ah, and Maria said present, right? Yes, teacher. Yeah. Give me one second, please. Okay, Henry. Henry is not here yet. Isabel. Jonathan Josue. Mayra Norabel. Present. Okay, Present. Mayra is over here. Very good. Maria Elba is over here. Maricela is over here. Miguel Hello. Angel. Yeah. Miguel Angel. Norma Xiomara. Hello, teacher. Hello, Oscar Josué. Present, teacher. 
Ok, Oscar, Ronan. Ahí soy Ronan. Ahí no, Ronan Present is teacher. All right. Sa Salvador Santiago. Salvador is absent. Vera Liz is over here. Vidal is over here. And Claudia is over here. Ok. Let's see. I have 14 people more over here. Let me see. Let me check. A camellia is over here now. Camellia. Presente. Okay, Camellia. Well, I will check it. I, I will, I will. Okay, Sarling is over here also. Present. Okay, hello, Sarling. Hello. I say it's over, right? Okay, well, I, I will check the list attendance second time at the end of the class. You know, right? This is the first time. So don't worry because later I will get back. I will get back with the list attendance. All right. Well, hey, welcome back. And this is this is our last week. Okay. So you know, uh, this week is our last week, and uh, you know you have a like a project, a, a a small project about presenting some information on everything you have learned in the class. All right. Remember that you are in church of it. You, you need to keep thinking about something that you will present to the group to, to show everybody and to, to, to first to show yourself about your advancement in English. Okay, this is basic English and we are almost over with the with the first with the first um course with, with our first English course later. Well, you are going to uh, have some other classes. I mean, you will advance in English and you will um, have another teacher. And I hope that you do a great job, all right? Like the way you have done in my class, in our class, all right? So welcome. I will start as soon as possible. I have a lot of things to do. As we usually, as, as usually, we have a lot of work to do. So we're going to start by having some review on the activity in the platform, right? So in the, the activity in the platform, it's about about the double H question words. Hey, one question. What time is it, people? What time is it? Uh, eight past eight. It's eight past eight. Ten past eight. All right. And what day is today? Look at the question. What date? No. What day is today? Look. Look at the chat. What day is today? And the question mark. Right. So don't forget about it. What date is today? Who knows? What day is today? We're starting a new week, right? You... What day is today? Today is Monday. May the 22nd, 2023. Now we'll type it down here. It's, today is Monday, May 22nd, 2023, right? So this is, this is our date. This is the date tonight. Okay, now um, hopefully I will I will I will be able to share information about the the ordinal numbers and also about um, a, a cardinal number, ordinal and cardinal numbers. Hopefully, right? If I if I have no time, so I will share it with you in the in the WhatsApp group. Okay, I have learned that uh, through the WhatsApp group, I can share a lot of information, videos, exercises, and that is a good source, right? To be connected with the language. Now, what time is it? 
What is the best answer over here? What time is it? It's 8.45. It's 8.45 or? Okay. 15? Tonight. Yeah, remember we will learn different ways to say the time in English. What time does the class start? What time does the class start? It starts at six. It starts at six, all right? Now, what time do you write at work? What time do you write at work? At about uh, at about uh, at about how, how past eight thirty past okay half past eight or eight thirty all right now what time does the academy close. <laughs> What time does the academy close? Usually around usually, 8 p.m. Usually around 8 p.m. All right. And I have the last one, I think. Yeah, this is the last one. Now, what time do you usually go to bed? What time do you usually go to bed? Um, it is fifteen to ten. Fifteen to ten, or uh, but but it's ten forty five. Uh, it starts at ten forty five, or it's, it's a it's at about ten forty five. Number one, number two, or number three. Start, start. At, at about 15 to 11. Is that right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay. So let, let's see. We're going to yeah. see the answers, okay? Okay, so uh, the last time we were talking about the expression, what time? Do you remember, right? We, we also learned how to say the time in English. So what time is it? It's uh, 15 to 9. Number two, what time does the class start? Okay, this is something that I want you to to, to notice, people. Okay, because we're going to start by talking about this. Okay. At. This is the first that I want you to notice, okay? Now, later, we have... Yeah, but actually, over here, we have the three of them, right? So, why... Yeah, over here, we have, for example, in... We have on and we have at. So when you said this one, but why not this one or this one? So it's because we have some rules. I'm just trying to introduce the topic, okay? Because today we are going to study about those prepositions, okay? These are called prepositions, at, in, on. This is the topic for tonight, you will see. Okay, so in later, 
in the number three. What time do you write a word at? As you can see here, we have at. I'm trying to introduce at. The <laughs> Let me see. There's somebody who is practicing the tongue twister. He está practicando el, el tongue twister ahorita. Sí, he tenido el micrófono abierto. A, a Vidal. All right, Vidal. <laughs> okay, Vidal. Get concentrated, please. Concentrémonos ahorita en esto porque si no, pues nos va a escapar el tema de, de, la, de la noche por estar con, con el tongue twister. Yeah. On. Okay. No, no, it's uh, about over here. We don't have time. We don't have uh, any preposition, right? But but you will see. I'm just trying to introduce the topic. Okay. Over here you have at once again. Now, well, what is the topic for tonight? Well, for tonight we have the following topic. Uh huh. Where's the topic, people? Where's the topic for tonight? Can somebody help me to read the topic? How? Where's the topic? How to use prepositions okay. yeah that is the topic for tonight okay this is a topic number 14 hey you know how to use the prepositions of time now before continuing with the with the with the class let me tell you the following recuérdense que esta semana es la última semana y es necesario que completemos todas las actividades de la plataforma todititas todos los ejercicios okay Además de eso, esta semana tienen el uh, final test, ¿ok? Ese final test, por favor, este, si es posible, si lo pueden tener el miércoles ya realizado, sería más que eh, excelente, porque este, um, necesitamos este, hacer un, un repaso del mismo y eh, eh, necesito ver en qué momento lo podemos este, abordar, ¿ok? Para planificarlo. Okay, so how to use the prepositions of time is the topic for tonight, right? So uh, let me tell you the following. Uh, well, I will stop sharing this and I will start sharing the PowerPoint presentation I have over here. Actually, I have two of them, right? So we're going to start talking about this, people. This is, this is extremely important. I know it's basic English, but it's quite important for us too. Go over it deeply. Now, uh, yeah. So it happens that we have uh, some prepositions of time. Can you see the info? Yes. What, yeah. What are the prepositions of time, people? What are the prepositions of time? Uh -huh. In, in, on, at. at. So you have many, how many do you have? One, two, and three <laughs> prepositions of time. The first one, in. The second one, on. And the third one, at. So and there are some rules that, that we should uh, pay special attention because, you know, sometimes we're going to use in, some other times we're going to use on in, in some other expression we're going to use at. So that's why I look for this um, present power presentation, which uh, somehow help us to identify when to use in, when to use on, and when to use at. Okay, so... It's a first. Uh, it's the first part because later we're gonna have an exercise. Okay. At. At. We're gonna start with at. Now, when do we use at, people? 
when talking about timetables. Okay. Now, do you know what timetable is? Where's the timetable? Can you look mm -hmm. for it in the in the in the in the in, in Google? Yeah. Where's the timetable? Yeah. Uh, oops. Hmm? Oh, very good. So when we talk about timetables, we're going to use at. at. Okay, timetables at. Now we're going to see two examples. So here we have example number one, the bus leaves. What is the things? ¿Qué gramática es esta? ¿Quién se acuerda? The bus leaves. Miren el verbo cómo está. ¿Quién se acuerda qué gramática es esa? Sí. Presente simple. Right? Simple present. Hey, but since, since we're talking about timetable, okay, <laughs> the bus leaves at and the after scene or after including at, we need to we need to include the time. Okay? The bus leaves at 11.30 or half past 11. All right? Now, okay. the English lessons start, lessons start at 8, 15 or 15 after 8. Okay? Or 15 past 8, the way we learn. Hey, so far, so good? When we talk about timetables, we are going to use at. At. Right? Keep it in mind. Okay? I don't know if you are just taking notes. It would be really nice if you take notes or if you if you take a picture. Okay? So that we can move on. Right? So remember that we're going to, we're going to study only three of them. Right? But... There are different expressions where we are, we have to use the three of them. So look at the file. Any question about it? No, no questions? No. 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 Pero, okay. Hello, cuando Mary? Se... Sí, cuando se... Cuando se cambia, digamos, el verbo, ahí es donde se utiliza el at. No, no, Mary. No. Este... No lo entendí. Vale, esto es, solo es presente simple. ¿va? Esto es lo que hemos estado estudiando. Realmente uh -huh. el at lo vamos a decir cuando tengamos el, un, una, un tiempo específico. ¿Ok? ¿Ok? Siempre en que hora... se tenga un, como una hora, es at. At. Y en este caso es con horario ya establecido. Ok, uh -huh. no, si esto puede ser pasado, puede ser futuro. Pero ahorita está en presente simple, que es lo último que hemos estudiado nosotros. Ok, uh -huh. y at, si usted se fija, esto también es presente simple. Pero si notamos, at siempre va eh, ajustado a, un, a una hora. Ok, at. A una hora. Okay, number questions? Okay, let's look at the next. At once again, parts of the day, at down, at sunrise, at sunset, at midday, at noon. Now, what's at down, people? Busquen, por favor, que significa cada uno de ellos. A down, at. What is a down? In la madrugada. All right, very good. At sunrise. 
Sunset. Al amanecer. All right. At sunset. Al atardecer. All right. And at midday. And at noon. Al mediodía. All right. Very good. Now, so, this is rule number two, okay? We're going to use at, we're going to use at when we talk about the parts of a day, the parts of the day. And then we say at down, at sunrise, at sunset, at midday, or at noon. Right? Simple like that. Okay? Simple like that. Parts of the day. So you need to keep in mind that when you say it, when you see this, this expression, then you know that you need to use at. Midday, at. Sunset, at. Sunrise, at. Down, at. So that's the only way, that's the only thing you need to keep in mind. This is not complicated. Okay? Let's see, because we have some others over here. We have some more parts of the day. Now you're not at midnight, right? Okay, what's at midnight? At midnight? <clears throat> Media noche. All right, mm -hmm. at night? Noche. At breakfast? At lunch time. Almuerzo. At tea time. At tea time. Yeah. At dinner time. All right. So, but you, as you can see, you have lunch time, uh, tea time, dinner time, at night, and at midnight. Okay. So, those are part of the day also. When we talk about the parts of the day, we use at. All right. Now, at, we continue with at. Some festivities, right? At Christmas, at Easter, at the weekend. Okay, we say at the weekend or on the weekend, right? So this is possible to use it in both ways. Now, at Christmas, you know, right? At Christmas time, at Easter, you know Christmas, right? Have you, what is Christmas, people? In Navidad. Yeah, what is Easter? Easter time. Mm. All right. At the weekend. Okay. Uh, Easter, yeah, Easter. Is what is what is Easter, people? Pascua. All right, and then we have a uh, the weekend, right? Or you say on weekend, on week. It's, I think it's is more frequently to say on, or during the weekend, at uh, the weekend. So it's possible. Later, we have in. Okay, so be careful, right? So we, we already start studied about at, okay? There are some expressions you need to use, but you need to use at, okay? And over here we have in, all the parts of the day, okay? For example, in the morning, in the morning, in the afternoon, in the evening, okay? You know, in the morning, in the afternoon, in the evening. Now you know the three of them, right? In the morning. In the mañana. All right. In the afternoon. In the tarde. In the evening. 
Yeah, yeah but so those are some parts of the day, yes or no? But when I say, for example, uh, when I say, for example, noon, if I say noon, In the yeah, but but you use mm -hmm. in. You say in noon. Mm. Yes or no? We say in noon. Yeah, this is part of the day. Yes or no? Uh, over here you say at noon. Remember, that's why you need to keep it in mind. At noon. Which is different, right? At noon. But in the morning, in the afternoon, and in the evening. Now, as I will get back so that you remember what, what, about what I'm talking now. Some periods of time. Okay, now, over here. Over here. Parts of the day. Now, you see? At down, at sunrise, at sunset, at midnight, at noon. Over here is at noon. So, you need to keep it in mind. Then we say it at midnight, at night, at breakfast, at lunchtime, at tea time, and at dinner time. But when we get into some of the parts of the day, we say in the morning, in the afternoon, in the evening. Okay? Now, in months, years, and centuries. Months, years, and centuries. How come? Say, in September, in 1812, in the 21st century, in, in September, in 1812, in the 21st century, in October, in November. Now, you may, you may be asked about your birthday. When's your birthday? When's your birthday, people? July. Oh, then you say, my birthday is in my July. Is in. in July. Yeah, when's your birthday, Maria? In July. In July also? Okay. Now you see. Um, This is the way we, we go over it, right? So we see all in January, in February, in March, in April, in May, in June, etc. right? And when we talk about years, we also say in 1812. Mm -hmm. Now, uh, that's why, uh, what is the year we are in um, to today? I mean, in to 2023, that's the year we are in, okay? Etc. If you talk about centuries, then you say in also. Cuando se dice que si el año teacher va, se agarra por cada dos números. Yeah, you, you can say it like that 1812. 1812, okay. 2023, etc. But there are some other rules. I, I I will look for some others because there's not only that way. You could, for example, you can say 2023, which is all right. But there are certain rules. I will look for them. Don't worry. Now we have on people. On. Now, the first one was at. The second one was about in. And now we are going we're gonna go over the expression on or the preposition on. These are prepositions of time. And it says that we use on when we want to express dates. You know, dates, right? That's why I started uh, the class by asking you about the day. What day is today? What day it is today? Okay, and we are going to see. Now, for example, the day or, or the date you were born, I was born on, on uh, June the 22nd. Now, over here you need to keep in mind, oh, you need to be careful about this, okay? Yo les dije que íbamos a ocupar in con, lo, con, los, con los meses, ¿se recuerdan? Vaya, pero aquí me está apareciendo June y no estoy ocupando in. 
¿Qué será la diferencia? Fíjense bien, porque on lo vamos a ocupar cuando digamos la fecha exacta. Ok. On June the 22nd. Ok. On. Si yo le quito la fecha, entonces no podría ser on, tendría que ser in June. Ok. Ok, people. So, if I include the date, si yo incluyo la fecha exacta, tengo que usar on. Si no la incluyo, tengo que usar in. Eso es todo. Ok, si yo solo digo en junio. Yo nací en junio. Ah, entonces vamos a poner in. Yo nací el 22 de junio. Ah, ok, entonces ahí uso on. Teacher, entonces Bien. son fechas establecidas que no se pueden cambiar. No, no, digamos, es, depende de lo que, lo que usted, bueno, imaginemos, ¿no? yo le digo, ¿cuándo es su cumpleaños? Usted me dice, ah, es, es en junio, ah, pero no me quiere, quizás no me quiere decir la fecha exacta, entonces yo solo digo en, en junio, en junio sería solo así, in, June. pero si usted me quiere decir la fecha exacta, para que, para que le regalemos un, algo en la fecha de cumpleaños, entonces, Ahí sí ocupamos on. Esa es la diferencia. Lo que hace la diferencia es la fecha. ¿Ok? ¿De acuerdo? Okay. ok. Ya vamos a practicar por ahí. No se preocupen. Let's go to the next part. On. We continue with on. Days of the week. Eso ya se los había dicho en algún momento. ¿no? Siempre que tengamos los días de la semana, vamos a ocupar on. On Monday, on Friday evening, on weekdays, on Tuesday night. Okay. Every single time you see a day, a day of the week, then of course you're going to use the preposition of time on. Okay. And we continue parts of the day with adjectives. Okay, on a cold winter morning, on a cold winter morning, part of the day with adjectives. What is the adjective here? Cold. Okay, cold winter uh, morning. On a dark rainy night, on a dark and rainy. Aquí tenemos dos adjetivos. Cuando tengamos este, una parte del día con un adjetivo, entonces vamos a ocupar on. On a dark rainy night. Si no tuviéramos, por ejemplo, el, aquí está muy claro. Si no tuviéramos esto, ¿cómo diríamos? Sería on night. Okay, at okay. night. Ah, tendría que ser at night. Ok, at night. Pero como tenemos dark and rainy, son dos adjetivos, entonces ya, ya no puede ser at night. Tiene que ser on a dark, rainy night. That makes a difference. Ok. Same as on a cold winter morning. Ok. Commonly we say at, at winter time, right? Or, but since we have cold over here, we need to use on. Or a hot summer afternoon. On. A hot. Aquí está el adjetivo. Summer afternoon. On. Okay, we need to compare. On time. Okay. There are some expressions, right? So when you when you get some somewhere on time, it's because you, you got exactly at the time you were supposed to be there. Okay. In time, not late. Uh, at the end of at the, you may say at the end of the month, at the end of the year, at the end of the year so the, 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 the day, sorry these are expressions, time expression you can use, okay, in the end is the, the opposite of at first okay
And that's it, right? Any question? Any question? Questions, people? No questions? Okay, we're going to practice then. Vamos a practicar un ratito. Okay, yo les voy a ir dictando unas expresiones acá. Y ustedes le van a poner ya sea in, on, or at. ¿Ok? ¿De acuerdo? Ok. Vaya, eh, vayan, vayanlo copiando, por favor. O para, para ya luego verificarlo. Ok, number one. Noon. Okay, number two, December. Recuerden, se tienen solo, solo tres opciones, in, on, or at. December. Okay, the next one. December 25th. December 25th. 25 de diciembre. Esa es otra. Primero les dije diciembre, ahora vamos con fecha exacta. December 25th. The next one. Are you ready? <laughs> Ready? Yeah. Okay, Christmas. Christmas. Christmas, you know, Navidad um, in Spanish, right? In, on, or at. You decide. Christmas. Okay, ready? Now, this is a year, 1987. 1987. The next one. Two o'clock. Two o'clock. Two o'clock. The next. Fourteen ninety two. Mil cuatrocientos noventa y dos. Es un año. Fourteen ninety two. Next one, summer. Summer. You know, summer, S U M M E R. Summer. The next one, midnight, midnight. The next one, you know midnight, right? In, on, or out, midnight. The next one, his birthday.
his birthday. We're almost done. Because it terminamos. His birthday. Next one. February. 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 Okay, the next one. Christmas Day. Christmas Day. The next, the weekend. The weekend. The weekend. The next one. The morning. The morning. The morning. Next. Sunday. Sunday. Next one, Saturday night. Saturday night. And that was the last one, okay? Saturday night. Now, did you get them? Is, ¿Lo hicieron todos? Okay, now I will share. Voy a compartir para que ustedes vayan evaluando okay, el ejercicio que acabamos de hacer. Están en unas oraciones, ¿ok? Alguien me va a ir ayudando a, a leer las oraciones y al mismo tiempo verificar. Sí. Prepositions of time. Now, in, on, and at. Uh, the first one Give me a second. Okay. Now we have lunch in, on, or at? At. At noon, right? Christmas is? On. On. On, on December the 25th. Santa St. Claude's come to town. In. In. Or at, at Christmas. At, right? At Christmas time. And he was born in, in, in. 1987, right? The bus is leaving at, at, at 2 o'clock. Very good. America was discovered in, in 1492. Good. She goes to the beach. In. In summer or on summer or at summer? You got it? Mm. Uh huh. Give me one second, please. Yeah. Now we're in summer, right? In summertime. Then, uh, here, right, home. Oh. Is it on? We say mm -hmm. at midnight. At. 
at midnight. His birthday. Uh, boy, no, no. They had fun. His birthday. On his birthday. On his birthday, right? Valentine's Day is. In February. In February. She got a present. At, on, at, on Christmas Day. On Christmas Day. The difference is the day, right? Uh, they visited the zoo. At the weekend. At the weekend. And she goes shopping. In the morning. In the morning. They play chess on, on Sunday. On Sunday, they went to the disco. I don't know, but on Saturday night. On Saturday night, and that's it, right? So actually, this is this was the the the, the dictation practice we had. So era el, el, la práctica de dictado que tuvimos. Yo lo único que hice es irle dictando la última parte. Miren. At noon. ¿Quién tuvo at noon? Ahí vayan chequeándolo, por favor. At noon. De ahí, yeah. en, la, en, en esta les dije, di, December les dije primero, ¿verdad? Si, en, si, en, cuando les dije December, tenían que haber puesto primero oh, in sí. December. In. In December. De ahí les dije, December the 25th. Y ahí sí era on, porque ya tenemos on. la fecha, ¿ok? Ahí están esas, esas dos. Uh, then we had Christmas, right? At Christmas. Then, in 1987. Then... We had a Christmas no. in 1987. Then we had two o'clock at two o'clock. After that, in 1492. In after that, I said in summer. After that. ¿Cómo podría cambiar y poner on en lugar de in acá? ¿Quién se acuerda? Si, si yo quisiera decir algo con on y usar la palabra summer. Tendría que agregar un adjetivo, ¿verdad? Mm. On a summer hot day. summer. Or a hot summer, summer day. Ajá. On a hot summer. En un verano muy caluroso, por ejemplo. On. Ahí sí cambiar, cambiaría a on. Ok. The other one was... El otro era... In summer... On his birthday. His birthday. On his birthday, mm -hmm. right? Then, in February, after that, on Christmas Day, later at the weekend, at the weekend, in the morning, in the morning, on Sunday, and on Saturday night. Okay, so actually that was the exercise. Okay, so we 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 can uh, we have a lot of examples over here as you can as you could read and as you could listen to. Okay, so but como la nutrifer mañana se tiene que levantar tempranito. So that um. Va a cepillar si se va a acostar mejor ya. The, 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 the purpose no, no, no. is to see. No, no, no. Es que si no va a dormir, lo que lo estoy mandando. Lo estoy mandando a hacer lo que tiene que hacer. The prepositions of time, okay? So tomorrow we're going to study prepositions of time and prepositions of place. 
Okay, and you will see there is something that you need to keep in mind about it. Now, this is everything about the, the prepositions of time. So uh, in the book or in the, in, the, in the student's guide, we have something else, okay? So we, we need to continue studying, right? So we need to continue studying about, about the topic. So remember that later you're going to create something. Okay. That's over here. Yeah. So people, uh, the last time we were talking about this expression, right? What time is it? So we start to create it, right? What time does the meal start? And you see, we, we see the, the preposition of it there, right? So when we talk about the time, Remember, then we are gonna use at, at about, at 11 o'clock, at, at around seven or uh, half past seven, etc. right? So we, we saw this exercise the last time, okay. Now, uh, we were studying about it, okay. Uh, for example, if I ask you, when is your next meeting at, at, at your at work? ¿Cómo me contestan a esa pregunta? When is your next meeting at work? When is your next meeting? I mean, actually, here is, is missing one E. Aquí le falta una E a esta palabra. So, but when is your next meeting? ¿Cuándo tienes tu próxima reunión en el trabajo? When is your next meeting? It's when? It may be Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Tell me. When's your next meeting? People? Are you there? Can you listen to me? Ronan, when's your next meeting? Uh, Jonathan, when's your when is your next meeting? The only thing you need to do is to provide a day, right? It's on. What's your next meeting? Well, I will I will help you with this. Okay, it's on. It's on. Yeah, it's like this, right? It's on it's star or or it's on it's on tuesday for example uh, it's, it's on, on tuesday, tuesday and you may include at noon at noon el martes uh. al mediodía nos van a reunir por ejemplo so it's on tuesday at noon now second question what time do you arrive to work a qué hora llegas al trabajo what time do you arrive to work It is at eight o'clock. Okay, now over here, you say, I arrive. I. Hey, my goodness. I arrive. Arrive. At. At. Hey, All right. Eight o'clock, right? And the last one, when are your next vacation? 
Con agua. Con agua. on or in? In. Oh. In, right? Because in August. In uh -huh. August. Yeah, you can say on August because if you say on August, then you need to include a specific date. Okay, we will continue practicing, people. Now, over here we have extra info, okay? And later you are, it's going to be time for you to work, okay? Uh, as you can see over here, there is like a summary about what we have been studying in the PowerPoint presentation. And as you can see, on is used with the days of the week. Okay, con los días de la semana, on. Look at this, on. You have January, but you have the date. That is the difference, right? With the days of the week, we come back again with the days of the week on Monday, but you have specific date, February the 5th. On Wednesdays, on Wednesday morning. Let me see, there's somebody in the chat. Yeah, it's it, uh, Maribel, it's important, right? It is important. Yeah, it is important. Uh, uh, unless you say, for example, it is important. Sí, claro que sí es importante ponerle a M o P M. Let's imagine over here. Si usted quiere, quiere aclarar si es en la mañana o en la tarde, entonces le pone either, right? P M or A M. Si usted considera que la persona ya se sobreentiende que va a ser en la, en la mañana, en la, entonces ya, ya no lo usa. Pero sí si es, es necesario, ¿ok? Para aclarar si es en la mañana o en la tarde. Ok. Now, uh, then we have in May, not, the, not specific date, right? Miren, no hay fecha, no hay fecha exacta. Solo dice que es en mayo. In 2018. Ok. A year. In the summer. In the morning. At. Half past two p.m. or a.m. At noon. At night. At midnight. Ok, so. This is like a summary. It's como, oh my goodness. It's como un... Okay, now what are we gonna do now? Look at what we have here. We have um, an email. This is an email, okay? You know, I will teach you about how to say certain expressions. Okay, the one that's uh, sending the, the email is Fatima. And her email address is party2018. Este lo vamos a decir como at, at eh, email. El punto lo vamos a decir como dot dot com. Okay, so party2018 at email.com. Así se lee el, 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 el correo de esta persona. Now, to Mary underscore underscore to at email.com Subject, new products presentation. Okay? So, and let us read. Let us read and let's see what, what do we have here. For example, I have, hello, Fatima. Are you busy? Can you help me to complete this, please? Hello, oh. Fatima. Are you busy? In, on, or at? On. 
on Monday, right? Are you busy on Monday? Afternoon, do you know about the new product that the company launches? There's a presentation about it and it sounds very interesting. It starts at, at half past six. I work until uh, 15 to six and I can meet you at, 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 at takes on the corner of First Avenue and Main Street. What do you think? There's another presentation, but it will be... Oh. Um, in March. In March. On Sunday. Sunday. Okay, on Sunday. Very good. Now, let me see. Oops, sorry. I'm sorry here. Right? So that's her email address. That is her email address. Now, we're going to do something, people. Van a crear un... un un correo similar a este ok y lo van a mandar al grupo de whatsapp ok mándenselo a alguien del grupo ok el ejercicio está en la página por si lo quieren tomar de ejemplo ok miren cuántas líneas tiene una, dos, tres, cuatro, cinco seis con la despedida Ok, tiene que ser un poquito así, de, de cinco o seis líneas. Ok. So, esto está en la página 36. 36. En caso lo quieran tomar de ejemplo. Ok. How much time do you have? Le voy a dar que 10 minutos para que lo creen. Ok. Primero, háganle un documento de Word. Y ahí lo pegan y lo, y lo suben al, al, al grupo de WhatsApp. Ok, por supuesto, recuérdense que el objetivo acá son las tres preposiciones que hemos estado estudiando. In. On. En at. Eso tiene que aparecer ahí. Okay, now you have 10 minutes. 10 minutes from now on. Marvin, ¿cómo hago para minimizar aquí? Marvin. Sí, ya sé cómo se llama ese volado, estante.
Okay, so Norma's email in the in the in the WhatsApp group. Okay, I will wait for five people more. I will wait for five people more to continue, okay? Voy a esperar ver unos cinco más y luego continuamos. Okay, some of you are gonna share. I think it's better if we continue this way and later you can you can share your email in the in the WhatsApp group, okay? So I will stop over here and let me see. Okay, uh well Raquel, I, can you listen to me, Raquel? I ask you may space on the absolute very good. Okay, Vidal, I got it. I got a second one in the in the group. Hello, teacher. Hello, hello. Are you ready with your with your email? Okay, Vidal, very good. You have used in, on, and at, right? On Monday at 1 p.m. All right. Very good. I got a second one over there. Okay, so if you if you have your email, do me the favor to share it in the WhatsApp group. Well, I think uh we have been um working on in on and at which are the prepositions of time during one hour and a half and i consider that well today we uh -huh. studied we study it um in detail but tomorrow we are going to continue using uh, norma do you have your email i think norma you were the first right yeah norma <laughs> You were the first who sent the email in the chat in the in the WhatsApp group. Okay, is there anybody who wants to share the the email? Ronan already shared in the group. Hola, Hola. teacher. Okay, very good. Uh, uh... Fíjese que vengo llegando del, del trabajo, así que no pude hacer la actividad porque venía eh, en camino. Ok, ok, it's all right. Well, uh, anyways, we are, I will see those uh, emails. I will see those emails later. Los que todavía no lo han podido compartir, lo comparten luego en el grupo, ¿ok? Y pues vamos a ver si practicamos un poquito con los tongue twisters. Ok, tongue twisters. Let me see. No one in the group, no. Ok, uh, volunteers with the tongue twister. Por ahí me han estado escribiendo que ya los tienen listos, que, que hoy sí, que nos van a dejar la, la lengua retorcida porque se los pueden súper rápido. Ok, ya vamos a ver. Vamos uno por uno. Ok, recuerden, se van a compartir el tongue twister. Nos van a decir el vocabulario que aprendieron. Ok, y pues de alguna manera van a demostrar que 
eh, están logrando como flu más fluidez en inglés, ¿ok? Ok, I will start with mine. No, I, last time I told mine, right? La última vez yo les dije el mío, así que vamos, vamos en orden de lista. Are you ready? Are you ready, people? Ok, we're going to start with Camelia, ¿ok? Camelia. Hello, teacher. Hello. Eh, ah, ah, Rachel, Raquel, sorry. Eh, disculpe que eh, escuché que, que me mencionó un ratito la clase, pero en eso se fue la luz en mi casa. Ah, yeah, Raquel. Uh, vamos a comenzar ya con los, con, los, con los trabalenguas. Ah, ok, solo que ahorita sí, este, no, no sabría decirle, por como se está viendo la luz, entonces... Ah, okay. Ay, disculpe. No, 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 ahorita vamos, este, vamos a ir en orden, ¿ok? Recuérdense que tienen que compartir el vocabulario que aprendieron y decirnos el tongue twister, esa era la actividad. Ok, gracias, Tiche. Ok, so, Camelia, hello. Hola, la actividad de, de, no la hice. You can look for one, just right now. Puede buscar uno ahorita y le doy el tiempo para mientras este se lo, se lo aprende. Entonces lo digo al final. Sí, 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 está bien, Camelia. Gracias. Eh, well, Sarlin, I think Sarlin is. Sarlin, are you, are you ready? No, pero <ríe> voy a hacer el intento. Ok, Sarlin. <ríe> Recuerden porque... que aquí van a quedar inmortalizados porque ese video ahí va a quedar. Sí, se me lengua la traba, la verdad. <ríe> ok, Sarlin. Es, es cortito. She saw Charif Chuch on the sofa, but what she saw Chuch? No, Charif Chuch, no puedo decirlo. Voy a empezar el video. Ok, Sarlin, ok. She saw Charif Chuch on the sofa, but what she saw Chuch do with Charif Chuch? So, no puedo decir. Siempre uh, me trago en esta al final. Ah, uh, ok. Can you share the vocabulary you got? Nos puede mostrar el vocabulario que aprendió con el con el tongue twister. Eh, uh, a ver. For example, in my case, the last time I told you, right? I wish to wish to wish to wish to wish, but if the wish to wish to wish is the wish of a witch. But what I wish to wish to wish to wish. Okay, the, the, the main, the main, the main verb over there is the main verb, main verb in the tongue twister in the tongue. Twister is wish. Y ahí en, en el tongue twister ese que yo les he dicho. Hay, hay dos palabras que son muy similares. Wish, which. So, but. Oh. Entonces ahí, ese, eh, ya con, con dos, imagínense con dos palabritas. Yo ya, ya, son dos palabras que entran en mi repertorio en inglés, ¿verdad? Wish, which. Ok. Yeah. Ajá, but what about you, Sarlin? Eh, sao que significa lo, lo que dio algo así can you, can you type it in the chat ¿Ah? lo puede colocar en el chat para ah, todos okay. ok ya lo voy a colocar permítame porque... ok nos pueden presentar el, el tongue twister en un documento word, una presentación vocabulario como ustedes prefieran Lo tengo hasta traducido, pero permítame un momentito al chat, lo voy a. Ok, Sarlin. Permítame. After Sarlin, we're going to listen to Claudia. After Claudia, we're ah. going to listen to Gladys, okay? Okay, Sarlin, go ahead. She saw Charif on the sofa, but was she so sure those were Charif choose the sofa? 
No sé lo que dije, pero... ¿Viste la traducción? Ok, you should try to say it like, like uh, slowly. Primero hay que decirlo lento. Okay? She saw the sheriff's shoes on the sofa, but was she so sure those were, those were sheriff's shoes she saw? And then little, little by little you continue, okay? <laughs> okay? Okay, so you have the word. What's the vocabulary you learned? ¿Cuál es el vocabulario que aprendimos? Surname. So, que es ver. Este. Shoes, ya lo sabía, son zapatos, ¿verdad? All right. Uh, sofá también, que casi, no, casi nunca uso esa expresión. Quiero ver. Más que todo, lo que me, me llamó la atención era so, porque no, nunca había utilizado esa expresión. Ok. Mm. Ok, but over here we can, we can investigate about this. Miren, podemos investigar acerca de esto. Mm -hmm. Esto se llama demonstrative adjective. This, this, that, and those. When do we use them? Ok, podría mm -hmm. ser una tarea que ustedes Perdón. puedan investigar, ok? Porque es, es necesario también saber esto. Ok, tarea okay. para todos. This, this, that, and those. All right, very good, Sarlene. Thank you. Okay, continue uh -huh. practicing the, the tongue twister. Okay, I said Cloud. Claudia continues, right? So, Claudia, hello. Claudia, good evening. Claudia, are you there? Well, after Claudia, I said Gladys. Okay, teacher. Okay, Gladys, I, I know you are, you are ready, right? Bye. Pepe Peña peels potato, chop pine apple, whistles, a whistles, chops pine apple, peels potato, Pepe Peña. Oh. Pepe Peña peels, <laughs> Pepe Peña peels pineapples. And we... <laughs> Can you type it in the chat, please? <laughs> Pepe Peña peels pineapple. I, I want to see, I didn't, I have never seen that one. Ese nunca lo había visto. Ah, oh, so there, Pepe Peña peels potato, ah, potato chop, pineapple potato. whistles, a uh, whistle chops, pineapple peels potatoes, pe Pepe Peña, wow, well, that's a kind of, okay. Now, uh, okay. what is the vocabulary you learn? Um, chops, que uh, como picar. Ajá. Uh -huh. Y este, pills. Pills, okay. what's pills? Mm -hmm. Como pelar. Okay, peels, chops, pine whistles? Ah, uh, whistle. whistle. What, what, what whistles? Whistles. Yeah, what is it? Eso es... Eh, whistle a whistle. What whistle? <clears throat> That's whistle, right? Pita, un pito, creo que dice. Yeah, that's, that's, that's whistle, right? So, silbar. Pepe Peña, peels potatoes, chops. Eh, peels potatoes, chop pineapple, whistles a whistle. Chop pineapple, chops, pineapples, peels potatoes, <laughs> Pepe Peña. Okay, that was okay, not difficult, but that was that was really nice. Thank you very much, Gladys. Okay. <laughs> okay, now you you got another one, right? So para los que se van a memorizar varios ahí allá. El de Sheriff estaba un poquito difícil. También el de Pepe. Let's see with the next one. Okay, Mayra, are you ready? Hola. Hello, hello. Vaya, lo voy a intentar. Um, dice, a slogan round, 
Slugging Hall. Eh, the Call of the Dead Slugging Dragon. Slugging. Perdón, espérame. Voy a iniciar que ya me confundí. Vamos a ver. Slugging Dragon. Slugging Call. The Call of the Dead Slugging Dragon. Slugging Midin. Come on, come on with the punch it. Mi palabra favorita, the punch it. Porque la puedo usar con muchos que conozco. Okay, can you type your tongue twister in the chat so that we can see the, the vocabulary? Well, uh, we will see that we will see. Okay, everybody, do me favor to include the, the, the tongue twister in the in the chat, okay? <clears throat> we're gonna we're going to try to continue with Oscar. Okay, yeah, but that's because you know time is running. Oscar, are you ready? Hello, teacher. Hello, are you ready? Listo. Okay. I wish to wish. The wish you wish to wish would is you wish the wish the wish the wish the wishes <laughs> I want wishes the wish you wish to wish the wish you wish to wish all right can you type it in the in the uh, wh what did you learn about it <laughs> what's the vocabulary you learned <laughs> so remember. Try to include your tongue twister well. well. I will try to continue, okay, Oscar? Try to try to include your tongue twister in the chat. Let me see. Uh, I have uh, Raquel, I think. Now, Raquel, now you're more than ready, right? Okay, Oscar, wish. Wish is the bear, right? <laughs> I wish, you wish, he wishes. Okay, simple person. Yeah. Okay, Oscar. Raquel, are you ready? Well, let me see. Is there any volunteer people? Is there any volunteer with the with the tongue twister? Hay voluntarios con el tongue twister. Alguien que se me ha quedado. Pendiente, okay, Alison. Okay, Alison, go ahead, Alison. Me, one second, please. Okay, when a doctor, doctors, a doctor, does the doctor doing the doctor in doctor as the doctor being doctor wants to be doctor, or does the doctor doing the doctor in doctor as he wants to doctor? <laughs> <laughs> that, that is very easy, está fácil, solo decimos doctor, 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 doctor. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, include it in the chat, please, Alison. Okay. Include, include. That was quite good. It's está difícil. El del doctor está difícil. Me quedo con el de Pepe mejor. Ah, uh, this is so doctor doing the doctoring doctor and the doctor being doctor. Wants to be doctor, or that's the doctor doing the doctoring doctor as he wants to doctor. <laughs> okay. Okay, My thank you. Was doctor. <laughs> a, lot of, a lot of doctor there, right? Okay, now I have Vidal. I think Vidal wants to participate. Okay, Vidal, now you have your time. Hello, teacher. Hello, Vidal. Yeah, you can start now. 
Fasi was she, Fasi was she was a bear. Fasi was she had no hair, Fasi was she was very fussy, was he? Finish. I couldn't. What is the vocabulary you learned from, from that tongue twister, Vidal? Ahorita lo comparto en el chat. Oh, ok. Alright. Fussy Uzi. Fussy Uzi was a bird. Ok. Had no hair. Was a very fussy. Ok. Very good. Now, what's the vocabulary you learned, Vidal? Ok. Very good. Thank you, Vidal. Thank you very much. He included the vocabulary there. Quite good. Now, is there anybody else? Hay alguien más que quiera compartirlo las actividades? Let me see. El mío bien chiquito, sí. Okay, Mary, go ahead. <laughs> Dice, fresh fit, 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 fresh fit, 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 fresh, fit, fit, fresh. Okay, okay, Mary. <laughs> Cortito pero difícil. Do me the favor to include it in the chat, please, uh, Maria. Sí. Okay. Okay, Pepe Peña Pias Potatoes. Okay, that was quite good. Okay, so do the favor to include the tongue twisters in the chat. And well, you know, I hope that you have enjoyed this. Uh, that's made a uh, fresh fried fish, fish fry, fry. fried fish fresh. And fish fry fresh. Uh, that's it's difficult. It's not difficult. Okay. <laughs> okay, that was quite good. Thank you, Maria. That was fantastic. Hope that you have enjoyed that activity. Okay. <laughs> now, through tongue twisters, you can learn a lot of vocabulary, right? There are a lot of tongue twisters. Okay, that you can investigate. And that you can uh, go over vocabulary. That's a really nice way to get some vocabulary. What are we going to do now, people? Just before finishing um, tonight's, uh, tonight's activities. Well, uh, we're gonna, you're going to work in this part, which is uh, the information on page uh, 37. Okay, what are you gonna do? Well, you need to, what is, there is some vocabulary, right? That you need to, um, there are some words. I mean, the letters are are not in order. So you need to unscramble, you know, unscramble, right? The words and describe them. So the partner guesses the name of the, the department. So these are the departments, right? Uh, I don't know if you got this, this vocabulary, you need to provide a definition and what do people do there? The same with the second one and the, sa the same with the third one. You need to provide definition and what do people usually do there? After that, you need to create uh, questions. Question, right. Six information questions using the double H words provided, then ask a friend and write down the information. Okay, of course, over so here you are gonna create a questions uh, where you can provide information with in, on, and at. Mientras yo termino, uh, mientras yo paso lista, ustedes háganme el favor de trabajar en esto. En la página 37. ¿Ok? Cuando yo termine de pasar lista, pues les voy a dar unos cinco minutos más y de ahí le voy a pedir a alguien que nos comparta que ¿Qué es lo que han hecho? ¿Ok? ¿Qué palabra encontraron acá? ¿Qué otra palabra encontraron acá? ¿Y qué otra palabra encontraron acá? Hay que ordenar la, las letras. Hay que darle una definición. De hecho, ahí mismo en, el, en, el, en la guía está la definición. ¿Ok? 
¿Y qué, qué es lo que las personas hacen en, en esa zona? ¿Ok? Ok. 37, people. Página 37. Ya regreso. Ok, Andrea Raquel, I know Andrea is over here. Adam. Present. Ok, Alison. I'm here. Andrea. Camelia. <coughs> Present. Ok, Present Dina teacher. Ok, Dina Maribel. Yeah, Raquel, you can you can say the tongue twister tomorrow, okay? Don't worry. Gerardo Emanuel. Gilberto Antonio. Claudia Rubidia. Present teacher. Héctor Salvador. Henry Ernesto. Sarlim. Hello. Hello. Jonathan Josué. I saw Jonathan Josué. I think he, he also. Jonathan Josué. Let me see. I remember Jonathan was over here. Wow. Mayra Norabel. Present. Okay. María Elba. Present. Maricela de Jesús. Present. Miguel Ángel García, Norma Xiomara, present teacher, Oscar Josué, present teacher, Ronan, present teacher, Salvador Santiago, Vera Liz, Vidal Antonio, Present teacher. Ok, en Claudia Verónica. Hello. Hello. Salvador, Miguel. All right. Okay, do you have five minutes more? Cinco minutos para trabajar, en, por lo menos en la primera parte de esa página. Y ya luego me comparten a la persona que elija, por favor.
Okay, so let us try to complete it as a group. Okay. Now let us try to finish it. Okay, as a group. Okay, now what, what is the expression you got over here? <clears throat> Uh, production. Production. Definition. Puedo hacer uso de la que aparece al principio. Yeah. No? Control and supervise the production work for workforce and em, no, inventario. Inventory. Inventory. Excellent. Very good. Now, what did you get on here? Uh, what section we're talking about? What What is the department we're talking about? You got it? This vocabulary, we started this vocabulary during the, I think it was on Friday, right? It started with P. Yeah, yeah that's right, Alison. Uh, you have problems with microphone, Alison? Purchasing, I don't know. Yeah, purchasing, purchasing. Yeah, purchasing. What is the definition and what do people usually do there? Uh, buy a raw material. That's raw definition. material, pretty good. All right. And the last one, what do you get about it? Start with the H. Start with H. Comienza con la H. Human. Human resources management, right? What's the definition for that, people? Human resources management. What do they do? You remember about vocabulary? Mm. Manage everything uh, of the employees. Mm, yeah, but there, there was like two two verbs that, that are like the key the key verbs. They recruit, they um, select the people, right? Recruit, select, and I think they also can they also train sometimes if I'm not mistaken. Okay. But that was good, okay, so you see. Now we're trying to have some review about everything we have been practicing. Now, to be the favor to finish, and you know, this is, this is for tomorrow. We're gonna continue having some review about some vocabulary, okay? And tomorrow we're gonna learn how to uh, talk about prepositions of place. That's coming for tomorrow, people, all right? So, we're gonna stop by here. No sé si hay alguna duda, algún comentario. Eh, les recuerdo que, <coughs> perdón, esta semana tienen que dejar todo completito en la plataforma. Ok. 
sumamente importante que hagan el examen final y que por supuesto que, que, que revisen a detalle las, 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 los ejercicios de la plataforma, de modo que no se nos va a quedar nada por ahí suelto y nos vaya a perjudicar en nuestro puntaje al final del curso. ¿Ok? No sé si hay preguntas o alguna inquietud. ¿Ok? Vidal. ¿Hasta cuándo es la fecha límite para poder re eh, realizar el, el examen final? Pues fíjese que yo esperaría que el jueves ya esté, ya esté listo ese, ese examen final. Ah, jueves. Okay. Sí, okay. porque es, o bien hacemos un repaso el jueves o viernes, cualquiera de esos dos días. Ok. Okay. ¿Alguna otra pregunta? Si no, pues nos quedamos por acá y nos vemos mañana. ¿Les parece? Ok. Miren, ese es el primer día que no les dejo tarea. Qué raro, ¿verdad? ¿Qué me está pasando? Espérense. <risa> ah, no, si ya tienen tarea, ya me acordé. ¿Cuál es la tarea? ¿Cuál es la tarea? Es que es cierto, pero no, le, no, no planifique tarea para esta noche. ¿Cuál es la tarea? Trabajar en una actividad en donde ustedes nos demuestren todas las herramientas que se van a llevar para el siguiente curso, todo lo que han aprendido acá. O sea, ustedes, pero eso es para el jueves, ¿verdad? Sí. No sé, ya para, para día jueves o a más tardar día viernes, ahí lo voy a valorar yo en su momento porque cuando, cuando reciba este, la, el, 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 la indicación que hay que llenar un formulario, pues entonces ahí nos vamos, vamos a invertir alrededor de una media hora, quizás 25 media hora, uh -huh. entonces ya no voy a contar con ese tiempo, entonces puede ser que lo, lo desarrollemos jueves o lo iniciamos por lo menos jueves y el viernes lo continuemos. Está bien. De acuerdo. Uh -huh. Vaya, pues entonces hoy sí. Good night, people. Good night. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Good night. Good night. Good night, teacher.